LeVar Arrington's now joining us live as we get ready for the uh, wild card weekend. So let me ask you this. Um, Baker Mayfield, should I say, oh, doesn't have a guard, doesn't have his coach. I mean, come on, you can't win a playoff game that way. And I think to myself, Lamar Jackson hasn't had Ronnie Stanley in two months. He's had the best <laughs> December of his life and hadn't heard him at all. You're going to give right. Baker a pass. You don't get a pass because, I mean, if you got a pass, then you don't play the game. You still have to go out there and you still have to perform no matter what the given circumstances are that you're facing going into each game. That's the beauty of a team sport is it's always the next guy up. So Baker doesn't get a pass. He get, he gets an opportunity. And that opportunity is to show that he further deserves more credit and, and more respect. Um, add it to his name or the conversation uh, continues through the off season into next season as to, can he do better than what he did this year? So I want to talk, I want we, Joy and I just talked about Jacksonville and we said, when's the last time you said Jacksonville was a great job. It's nothing against them. And everybody knows Trevor Lawrence is good. But to me, I look at the Chargers, and I'm like, good GM, good quarterback. They were the playoffs two years ago. Hell, they just ended with a four-game four game, uh, winning streak, and it's also Los Angeles. Free agents like it here. You tell me, is Trevor Lawrence enough to get you to go to Jacksonville as a coach? No. 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 Yeah. And no again. All right. And you want to know why? I mean, look at this. I, I always do this when I come on and we talk about Jacksonville. Until Fred Taylor at least Fred Taylor, goes into the Hall of Fame. And then you can add Tony Baselli to that name. And then we can start having uh, different guys connected, Mark Burnell, in the conversation of at least consideration. Until there is some something, Colin, that says we need to respect Jacksonville as a market, it, it, it could be a great addition adding, adding uh, Trevor Lawrence to this team. But no one cares. If the tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, I don't know that it makes – I believe it makes a noise, but there are a lot of people that would debate whether it made a noise or not. And if if Fred Taylor isn't in the, the Hall of Fame, then what does it matter what Trevor Lawrence does outside of something, anything short of a Super Bowl? And they haven't been able to do that in Jacksonville yet. I don't even know that a Super Bowl makes Jacksonville relevant. I love I love the fact that people holler Duval and Duval County and Duval this, Duval that. But Colin, I don't think that 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 Trevor Lawrence is big enough. I don't think there's any player, one player that's big enough. Uh, if they had a basketball team, I don't know that LeBron James would be big enough to make Duval matter enough. Uh, in the grand schemes of it being a an attractive job to have. By the way, what do you do with Tua? Do you move off him in Miami or not? He doesn't have appear to have an, a lot of it factor, but he's certainly you know he can play. What do you what do you do if you have the Dolphins' third pick, which they'll never, by the way, have again with Brian Flores as head coach? I think you got to stick it out with him. I think that this was a unique situation coming into a COVID year. Uh, with Tua, I know you'll probably argue that he's showing a uh, a lower ceiling, a ceiling that doesn't um, call for a Super Bowl, Colin. But you got to really think about if if that's the case, then we could judge Dan Marino, who's probably considered to be the best uh, quarterback that that Miami's had since since landing Tua. I mean, if we want to throw in Jay Feely or a couple other guys, I don't know who we put in there, but. Uh, not Jay Feely, is it Jay? Yeah, Jay Feely. I, I I just don't know. I don't know that Miami is has ever been good, uh, really good in the '90s and now in the 2000s. So you took Tua with a with a very high draft pick. I think you got to ride it out and see if he's the guy for your team, even if you're not going to get uh, another crack at that high of a pick for a quarterback at that position. I think Tua is, is a quality, and I think they should spend a little more time putting more, more into developing him and developing the team. Build your offensive line, add a couple weapons, tight end, add some receivers, um, some, some definite linemen uh, to, to your team. And I think that you can see 
Tua take a, a larger step than maybe what has impressed you so far. You had a legendary college coach in Joe Paterno. Nobody ever viewed him as an NFL coach. You had some very good NFL coaches who maybe don't work as well at college. Urban mm-hmm. Meyer, does he, regardless of where he goes, do you think it works in, in the NFL? It's a great question, and I think it's a question that everybody wants an answer to. The one thing about uh, one by, one thing I've learned about Urban Coach Meyer since being at FS1 is the type of person that he is. I, I you know I heard so many rumors and reports, and I had to make and base my opinions and my assessments and assumptions off of just reports. But to know the man is to understand why he has such great success. I think. His ability to connect with the people that he's coaching, with the people that he's he's coaching with, is so unique to the greats that are able to, to capture the imagination, to, to garner the buy-in. He's so good at it that I do think that if he went to the right organization and you didn't have people meddling into what it is that he's doing or making him uncomfortable with allowing him to do his job, I think Urban Meyer could win at the pro level just as much as he did at the college level. Pro Football Focus took every snap. They rated Patrick Mahomes the fourth-best quarterback. Now, that's not saying he's the fourth most most talented, but I I don't think he's played well for a month and a half. I mean, you've been watching. So you agree. I mean, I've watched for the last five weeks. I don't think he's playing great football. Yeah, I think he's been – he's shown vulnerability, and I think that teams realize that. And I think that they're playing to what they believe um, is his vulnerabilities. Uh, So he's not void of any scrutiny. Uh, He's not untouchable. In fact, he's not even the MVP of the league. Uh, You know, you would say that the MVP of the league right now, Aaron Rodgers is untouchable in terms of criticisms and scrutiny. Now, can he do it in the playoffs? Uh, We'll see. But but still, as it stands, with everything being said, they're still a one loss team. And they don't seem to be uh, as invincible as as they were early on in the year. But with that being said, I still look at them as they're they're just as dangerous. They just haven't won by as large a margins, which, by the way, historically speaking, if you look at what they did last year in the playoffs, they were down a couple times and by by quite a few points, might I add, um, and showed the, the ability to be able to come back and win. So this isn't new what we're seeing from from Patrick Mahomes and probably deserving of the rating that he's received. But that by no means seems to, to I guess, paint the picture that he's not going to be good enough to, to repeat winning the Super Bowl. LeVar Arrington, former Pro Bowler. See him on Fox Sports all the time. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, I appreciate you having me on, Colin. You're, you know you're my hero, so I appreciate getting a, a little bit of time. And hello, Joy. I hope all is well. You got a great, great uh, co-host and Joy as well. She's so I appreciate amazing. You, coming on the you show. bet. Hi, LeVar. Thank you yeah, very much. Right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.